Hello Salesforce developers. Code Builder is Salesforce new web ID tailored for building Salesforce apps. In this video, I will demo how to set up your development workflow for building Salesforce apps with Code Builder. Hi, my name is Mohit, a developer advocate at Salesforce, and this video is part of the series Modernize Your Developer Tools, where you will explore latest developer tools like Code Builder, Einstein for developers and code analyzer to boost your developer productivity. In case you have missed catching some of the episodes, be sure to check out the full playlist via the link below. To establish a development workflow in Code Builder, you will need to know how to perform these four operations. First, creating a new project in the code builder workspace or this might be cloning an existing project from your version control step two connecting the project to your development org this can be developer org a sandbox or a scratch org. third step is retrieving source metadata to the project workspace from your development org and the final and the fourth step is knowing how to deploy code or metadata from your project to your development org. Now we will explore each of these four operations step by steps. And these steps are same in case you're using VS Code desktop using the Salesforce extensions. So let's get started. First, let's talk about creating a project. To create a new project from scratch, use this sfdx create a new project command to create a project scaffold. This creates an empty project with necessary project structure in the code builder home directory. But what if you already have an app in the source control like git, like this dreamhouse LWC sample app. For this, you can simply use the command line that comes with code builder. All you need to do here is run git clone from the command line and you will see that the entire project repository is replicated in your local project workspace. Next up, let me show you how to connect your project to the Salesforce org where you are doing your development. Now this is the org where you might build and test your application. Now to do this, Let's start by authorizing an org. So all you need to do here is click on that authorize an org from the command palette, provide your org alias and provide your credentials so you can be connected. Now, not all the times you will be using a developer org or a sandbox. If you have adopted scratch orgs and source driven development, then you will need to first authorize a dev hub. So here you can see, I click on authorize a dev hub from my command palette and I provide the credentials of the org. And once I'm successfully authorized to the dev hub, I can then simply create a scratch org using this command. Now to open the connected org, simply click on that browser icon that you see in the footer here. Next up, let me show you how to retrieve metadata and code files from your org to your local project. Now say hello to this org browser. Org browser allows you to retrieve any metadata from your org to your project workspace. All you need to do is access the org browser by clicking on this sidebar menu. And here you can view all of the metadata including Apex custom objects and this LWC folder that you see. Now here you can simply click on this retrieve icon and you will see that all of the LWC components are retrieved. Org browser is great if you can manually track and remember the changes you do in the org. Now there is a better way if you want Salesforce to automatically track the metadata changes between your local project and the org with the source tracking feature. So stacking can be enabled in developer and developer pro sandboxes and is enabled by default in scratch orgs. Now in these type of orgs, 
Retrieving changes from your org to the project workspace is very simple. All you need is to know this command, SF metadata retrieve, and you can see that all of the changes that you've done to the org is synced to your local project. Finally, let's talk about deploying changes from your project to the org. For this, there is a very handy command, sfdx deploy. Now this command allows you to deploy either this entire folder that you see here, or maybe I can open that one single file that you see here, and we can simply click on deploy and deploy it. Now, if you use scratch orgs or, or you know, so track sandboxes, all you need to do is run SF project deploy metadata, and this will sync all of the changes that you have done to your local project, to your workspace. Makes it super easy. You not having to remember what files you have to push. That is it for this video. In this video, I showed you how to create a project, authenticate to Salesforce org for development, retrieve and deploy changes from your org to project workspace and vice versa. Hope it unlocks you to start using Code Builder to build your next amazing Salesforce app. In the next video, I'll show you how to manage multiple projects in Code Builder. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you found it helpful. Check out our full playlist to learn about the latest tools and resources to supercharge your skills. Thank you for watching this video.